It's always good to end with some fun ones, isn't it? Well, mosaic. What does mosaic mean? Aside from the religious significance. Well, you've seen it. Uh, Mosaic is those little... Well, actually, kind of similar to this, where you have little tiny squares um, grouted out in between them with some filling. A lot of times it's done with um, glass, rock, um, any sort of materials. Well, we can give a mosaic look to something, um, and it's, it's fun to do. So... Grab any picture you want. Let's go into View and Organize Photos. And, yeah. You know, they have coloring books now where you can, uh, you can color in on this special paper. Um, it's like a clear type of paper. Different sections of a, of a mosaic. And then you put it up on your window, and it looks very much like a little mosaic. But anyway, that's different than here. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to pick this, uh, this palm tree one. But pick any picture you want. You want to turn it into a mosaic. Pull it into standard edit. All right, we're in standard edit. The first thing we're going to do is a mosaic isn't this clear. So we're going to blur it up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more like glass or, or smudged stone or something like that. So go to filter. Man, there's, all, there's so many of these you can add to it, different effects. I know we've only dealt with a few of them. But uh, go to artistic, smudge stick... That's just a weird phrase, isn't it? Smudge stick. And here's where you could make it more smudgy or less smudgy, um, the intensity, all that. But you can just leave the defaults just to experiment. I'm just going to leave the defaults in this case. Look at all of our different varieties that we could choose within this box, within this filter box. Anyway, you have fun with that. But just pick the defaults for now for smudge stick. Click OK. Now it's a little bit smudged, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the grout in, or the, the you know the filling lines to make it look like pieces of a mosaic. So go to gr uh, View and then Grid. Now we're going to pick what color you want for your grout. And I'm always favoring this dark, rustic. Not brick, but it's like a dark red rust. I don't know. I never quite... It's really rare that I find that exact color that really gets me. But this is close-ish to one of the colors I like. It's not actually the color I was just talking about, but it's in the category of the reds. All right, enough of that. So pick the color that you want for the grout. Click OK. Now we're going to create a new layer. Make sure that layer is selected so that we're going to be drawing lines on that new layer, not the background or whatever layer you opened up. So create a new layer. Now we're going to pick the brush tool over here and pick a soft brush. And what I mean by that is not, um, not one of these perfectly clear-cut brushes like that. It's something a little more soft like this one. And five pixels should be fine. You can leave all the defaults up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw. That grid now will help us to draw. If we hold down the, sh if we click, and then hold down the shift button and pull down, see how it doesn't matter where I'm pulling down. It's still making that line nice. And then let go of the, the shift button, and then click and then hit the shift button and pull down. You want to make sure that you don't um, hit the shift button and then click, because watch what happens here. See, it just drew a line 
from here to there, which is useful because you can click here and then click another place and it creates a line from here. To, you can create two points and then it'll draw the line in between. But if you want to draw along the grid, let's hit undo here. You're going to click and then hold shift and then pull down, then it doesn't matter. Then it doesn't matter where you pull. Ah, see, I messed up right there, too. Click, shift, pull. Click, shift, pull. Click, shift, pull. All right, it's going to take forever to, to get this whole grid painted. And I know you probably don't want to wait that long. Ah. So I'm going to just do a couple sideways ones, just so you get the idea. Click, shift, pull. I feel like I'm in an exercise class. Click, shift, pull. Click, shift, pull. Click, shift, pull. Either that or the army, right? Click, shift, pull. Click, shift, pull, sergeant. Click, shift, pull. Click, shift. Okay. All right, let me just do a couple more. Ah, see, I hit shift before I clicked. Maybe I should still keep singing that song. Just one more. All right. Now what I'm going to do, see, notice how that layer, you can see the lines I, I drew a little bit in the layer. All right, now we're going to add a an effect to those lines I drew. You'd, prob you'd complete it, but under uh, styles and effects, under layer styles, under bevels, you'll find Simple Pillow Emboss. Double click that. And now we're going to take the grid out. And look at that. Notice this little section here totally looks like um, pieces of a mosaic, like, uh, like you'd see on a wall. Very cool. So there's one cool way to make a mosaic tile effect. So have some fun with that, and yeah.